hello everyone welcome to another video so if you are new to this uh, channel so i just wanted to tell you that in this channel i make videos related to software development my interview experiences and stuff around that okay so if you have not subscribed to my channel you can subscribe by pressing the subscribe button below so in today we have a problem in lead code and i'll be solving this problem okay so it's a problem of medium difficulty so the problem is that uh, you have a single a and you will be given a number n okay so you need to do a combination of operations of copying and pasting and uh, at the end of the operations we want that the number of a's should be n okay so for example if n is 4 then from single a you need 4 a's so you want a combination of copying and pasting operations so if you copy a single a and paste it again now you have two a's if you copy it the two a's again and then paste it then you have the four a's and you are done with the solution okay so that's the question but uh, the problem is that you have to tell them the minimum number of steps you need to solve this problem so the minimum number of operations that are required the number of times you need to press on uh, control c and control v so that is what we need to tell them okay so let's uh, go through the example once because that would uh, help us a lot so in the example they have given us the input three which means they want that at the end there should be three a's at present they have given us one a and at the end there should be three a's so first step they have done is copying the single a which is present like obviously you don't have uh, anything to paste so you have to copy it first so first a is copied then you paste the a in the second operation so now we have two a's one a was already present and one we have copied now in the third step we copy another a that makes it three a's so our problem is solved in three steps so that's why in our output we have returned three okay so this was it this was about this uh, example you can read through the problem statement again if you are not clear with it okay and uh, i have actually written a very clean code and i tried to comment it also so that uh, it's uh, really readable apart from that i'll also uh, you know i'll also put this solution in my github repository and I'll, I'll provide the link for this solution in the about section of the video okay so let's now try to go through the solution in the solution i am giving the given the n and i have to return the minimum number of steps okay so let's understand the variables that i have created the first variable is current so it represents the number of a's which are present on the screen at any uh, at the current time okay so at present we have one a so i have uh, assigned the current as one previous variable let's understand it later because at present uh, you'll be confused with the with this so let's understand it later steps so steps is our answer the number of uh, the minimum number of steps to make one a to n a's so that is the steps so this is our answer so we are returning steps you can see so this is now one thing is that you need to end working when your current which is the number of a's is equal to n okay because at the end you want n a's right so if your current which represents the number of a's at present so if your number of a's becomes equal to n you are done with the solution so that's what is the condition i have written here so that is exactly uh, what i have written here so this is the condition okay now at any step at any point we have two things we can either copy and paste or we can simply paste okay so we copy whatever is present on the screen and we paste it or we paste something which we copied in some step before or which we did earlier okay so this is the thing now we need to decide when we have to copy when we have to paste so for this let's understand an example okay so for example you have five a's present on the screen and you have to make nine a's okay then if you copy and paste then you will have 10 a's okay because when you copy you copy the five a's and then paste it so it will become 10 a's 
okay so it is more than the solution okay so we need to copy when so so if you uh, this was one example so if you try to jot down actually yourself right like before coming to the code if you jot down and write uh, the steps for different values of n for example 3 4 5 6 so if you do it this way you'll realize that you can copy and paste only when the number of ways present on the screen is uh, actually divides the total number of a's you want okay so you will come to this conclusion okay so for example if i had eight a's and four a's were present then four divides eight right so eight modulus four is zero so in that case if i would have copied and pasted it then it would have worked like fine because then it would be then it would have worked fine because uh, then copying the four a's and pasting the four a's again it would be eight a's and my problem would be solved so you'll realize this thing that we can copy and paste only when the number of a's present on the screen divides the total number of a's now let's come to what we mean by copy and pasting so copy simply means let's store the number of a's present on the screen in some variable so previous stores the number of a's present on the screen so it is copying it is copying the number of a's present on the screen and we are storing it in previous we are adding previous to current so when we copy after that we paste so the number of a's present on the screen will be increased and it will increased by the number of a's we copied right because when we copy when we paste so when we paste we'll actually paste something that we have copied right so we have copied previous so i have i am adding previous to current because now my current will be increased by previous which actually stores the number of a's which we have copied since copying and pasting are two steps so i am increasing the steps by two here okay now if i don't have to copy then i simply paste okay so in the paste you can see i am adding previous to the current so if you realize the previous is actually the thing that i am copying okay so that's why i am storing this previous variable so that it can track what i have copied in the last step okay so it is actually maintaining what number i have copied what number of a's i have copied so that's it previous is maintaining this so if i cannot copy and paste if the current number of a's is not dividing the n then i simply paste the previous number of a's that i have copied and that is present in the prev variable okay and pasting it simply pasting is simply one step so steps plus plus would work for us so yep that's pretty much the solution and after this all this computation we return the steps okay so yep so this was the solution and uh, yep let's meet in the other video then okay